The FDA meets tomorrow in Washington to consider the fate of Abbott's diet drug Meridia. Uh, for a closer look at the drug's future, I want to bring in our Bloomberg uh, pharmaceutical reporter Shannon Pettypiece. And this drug, Meridia, which is made by Abbott, uh, some side effects that are now being, I mean, it's been on the market for, what, 13 years? Right. But now we're hearing about these side effects, right? Yeah, well, it's been on the market for about 13 years. And, and ever since then, there's been a small trickle of uh, concerns coming out that this drug could pose a risk to the heart. Mm. And an uh, FDA panel of scientific advisors is going to meet tomorrow to discuss whether or not the drug needs additional warning or whether or not they should remove it from the market altogether. And what are people telling you? that What is the likelihood? Is it going to be warnings or is it really going to be withdrawn? There are some people, some analysts, including people who followed the FDA for decades, who are saying that, yes, this drug could be removed from the market. Um, for Abbott, it doesn't have huge sales. Actually, the obesity market right now is quite small um, because these drugs, they do have a concern of risks and they're not, you know, they're not all that effective at uh, helping people lose weight, considering that two-thirds of Americans are overweight or obese. I know. If there was a miracle drug, then we'd right. all be skinny walking right. around this and country. The, uh, this pill, we're really looking at about 10 pounds, around 10 pounds of weight loss is okay. what you get from it. Okay. So you're not talking, you know, hugely significant mm -hmm. uh, weight loss here. But uh, as you just kind of alluded to, I mean, this sort of fight against obesity, these obesity drugs, uh, companies have had a hard time finding right. The, the right pill for this. Why is that? Right. Almost every drug maker has tried to come up with an obesity right. pill over the past decade and failed. Well, one is that our bodies are very well designed to prevent us from starving. And there's a lot of mechanisms and backup mechanisms that when your body starts to lose too much weight, you know, they put a, a stop on that to make sure that, you know, you're not going to starve to death. That's mm -hmm. sort of a survival mechanism. So that's one element. It's a very hard disease to treat. Uh, the other is that these are drugs that are going to be taken every day for years on end. So they have to be very safe. And they're also going to be taken by a population of people who are obese. So they have high cholesterol, high blood pressure. They may right. have diabetes. So this is already a population that has some health risks. Some problems, right. right. Okay, so the FDA is also meeting, I, as I understand, on Thursday, right, right. on uh, another upcoming drug. I mean, is this yeah. going to be any more of a miracle than others or no? Well, this drug is quite interesting. If you remember back in uh, the 90s, there was a drug called Fenfen, which was very yes. popular. Uh, you know, there were some great success stories. People loved it, except mm -hmm. it caused a terrible impact on your heart, which could kill you. So the drug got pulled from the market. Well, this drug works similar to Fenfen without the heart risk, is what the company hopes. They've taken a similar drug, tweaked it a little bit, so that it will attack that same center in the brain that controls appetite without uh, um, harming the heart. Mm -hmm. So uh, this drug could be very effective. What's it called again? What's it called? It's called Lacaserin. Okay. And uh, the company uh, that's developing it is Arena. They also have a uh, partnership with Japanese drug maker Azai. So again, the FDA has put a very high bar for these obesity drugs, and it'll be very interesting to see if they uh, approve this one. And the stock's been up. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people who think right. that, that the panel could recommend this one. Right. Uh, so maybe there will be a new alternative out there. Even okay. If well, whoever work finds out. it is going to make a whole lot of money. Absolutely. You know, the, okay. Thank you so much, Shannon, you. for joining us. That was Shannon Pettypiece, our Bloomberg uh, Pharmaceuticals reporter.